Welcome, mortal fools, to the Count Dragula Show. Today, we're looking at A Nightmare on Elm Street, the original. No more pedophilia, no more homosexuality, just a man who likes to kill people in kids' dreams. Let's watch. The film begins with our main character, Tina, running in some random area. Ah! ah. God damn it! Stupid jump scare! I thought the remake was the only one with a jump scare. Don't worry though, it was all just a dream. So she's still alive. For now. The next day, Tina goes to school with her friends, like Nancy and Johnny Depp, and talk about the weird burned guy in her dream. So what do you dream? Forget it, Tina. The point is that everyone has a bad dream once in a while. I had a dream once where I wasn't actually a vampire, and I was actually some teenager who just likes to dress up as a vampire and make YouTube videos on the internet. <sighs> Scariest dream I ever had. Later, Tina decides to hang out with her friends, but they hear something. Oh wait, no, it's just Tina's boyfriend. I mean, don't leave me alone with this lunatic. Please, Nancy. <laughs> Jeez, that guy's more grabby than Harvey Weinstein. They all go back to bed for some reason, but then Tina goes to sleep. Since she's asleep now, her dream is obviously just her walking around somewhere, but then she runs into Freddy. He's gone. It's kind of weird seeing Freddy just chase somebody when it's a fucking dream. He can do pretty much whatever he wants, but whatever. Well, it looks like our main character is about to get killed. Hmm, I wonder what she's gonna do. Yep, she just fucking gets murdered. After spending like 20 minutes getting to know this character, she just gets killed. I know it's trying to do a whole, like, psycho thing, but this is just fucking stupid. After that, our new main character sees this and gets interrogated by the police. But I sure would like to know what the hell you were doing shacking up with three other kids in the middle of the night, especially a lunatic delinquent like Lane. Rod is not a lunatic, Dad. You have a sane explanation for what he did? <laughs> The next day, Nancy goes to school, but then Tina's boyfriend grabs her and explains that he didn't murder Tina, but the cops show up and he gets arrested. Hold it right there! Watch it! Hold him! All right, I'm, in. I'm cool, I'm cool. Okay, I got him. On the ground, now! Come on, get that! Out. What a little punk-ass bitch. If I was getting arrested by the cops, I would at least nuke the entire police station, not just fucking surrender like a little pussy. Then Nancy goes to school, but because this is a Nightmare on Elm Street movie, she just falls asleep. Where's your past? Screw your past! Don't you hate it when stupid hall monitors think they're better than you just because they have a simple design on their shirt? Nancy keeps walking and gets to the boiler room, but runs into Freddy. <laughs> Okay, are we sure this Freddy isn't a pedophile? Nancy's about to get killed in her dream, but thankfully she wakes up. Heh, <laughs> speaking of being killed in a dream, welcome to my dream, Count Dragula. Um, what the fuck is going on? You're asleep, Count Dragula, which means you're in my world. And now, that must mean you will review every Camp Blood movie! Uh-uh, uh-uh, no. This is just a basic review. We're not having any of those skits. So get back to fucking normal. Oh, come on. Now! You're no fun. Anyways, after Nancy wakes up, she decides to go home and take a bath for some reason. Nancy? 
Jeez, can Freddy go any slower? Just stop wasting my time already. Well, in the middle of Nancy's bath, she suddenly starts drowning, but thankfully survives. Then Nancy tries not to fall asleep while watching Evil Dead. Hehe, <laughs> nice. But falls asleep anyways. Why is everybody's dreams so boring in this movie? Eventually in her dream, she notices that Freddy's about to kill Nancy's boyfriend and gets chased by Freddy from this. <laughs> Mmm, that's some tasty oatmeal floor. Nancy wakes up and tries to tell the police what she saw, but they don't really believe her. Convenient, as Tina's boyfriend is getting killed right now, actually. Help! 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 The cops find out about this, but they just think it's a suicide, so whatever. The next day, Nancy is in some science bullshit experiment because of everything that's happened, and she pulls out Freddy's hat. I brought something out from my dream. Where did you get that? And you want to know the funny thing? They still don't believe her. Like, she pulled a hat out of her dream. Maybe pull out some money or some drugs or some liquor and maybe then they'd believe her. They go home, and Nancy's mom finally explains everything that's been happening. He was a filthy child murderer who killed at least 20 kids in the neighborhood. So she tells the story of Freddy, and basically he was a child murderer. They didn't like that, so they fucking killed him, obviously. After that, Nancy tells Johnny Depp to not fall asleep, and also how to kill Freddy. Basically, she's just gonna pull him out of her dream and fucking kill him. Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. Cut to him falling asleep, and then he gets fucking murdered. <laughs> Hey, look at the bright side, Johnny. At least Freddy didn't take a shit in your bed. I'll take a shit on your bed. Shut the fuck up right now. Even though her boyfriend is dead, that doesn't matter because she still has to set all those Home Alone traps. She goes to sleep and runs into Freddy. <laughs> Nancy's about to get fucking murdered, so she pulls Freddy out of her dream. <laughs> After that, we get to see Freddy go through all these Home Alone traps. <laughs> Man, Freddy is really a bitch in real life. Nancy then lights Freddy on fire, and she gets her father involved, and then the... What the fuck just happened? Freddy's about to kill Nancy, but she just ignores him, and then he fucking dies. You're nothing. That's actually good advice. Just ignore them. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? But it turns out this entire movie was just a fucking dream. So now we can get a nice happy ending. I'm not doing what, it. What's going on with the window? What the fuck was that? And that was A Nightmare on Elm Street. 
and it was pretty good. You know, the effects are okay. Some of them have not aged as well, but the characters are likable. It's memorable, and even though Freddy isn't the Freddy we know now, he's still pretty cool. And Robert England is great as Freddy in this movie. I give A Nightmare on Elm Street an A. Well, that's all for now, folks. See you next time, and I hope you burn in hell. I mean, I hope you have a good day. And don't forget... Uh, uh, God damn it!